question from Nick for Network Plus training, Network Plus studying. The question was, what is the most difficult part of the exam for most people? And is it important that we know that section? Or what are the most important parts to know as well? His, his questions really concern most with where do I need to emphasize, where do I need to put the most emphasis in studying, and where should I expect to really see a lot of questions on it? One of the things that is very common for CompTIA, whether it's their A+, or their Network+, Plus or their Security+, Plus exam, is they don't bunch up a lot of questions into any one particular area. And they will tell you exactly the sections that you need to look at. And I, I always recommend this to go out to the CompTIA website and download their exam objectives document. They have these wonderful, huge PDF documents that tell you exactly what you need to know. Now, one of the things, and this is common also with CompTIA, is their exams are very broad. You have to know a lot of pieces of information across a lot of different areas. They're not going to ask you one particular item for 10 questions. You aren't going to get 10 subnetting questions on your Network Plus exam. You might get two. You might not get any because it's random every time. You never know. And there's so much material that the randomization is there. Now, they will tell you for the very broad sections, we're going to show you this much percent of the questions will come from this section. This many percent of the questions will come from another section. So you at least have a pretty good idea of what the different number of questions might be or the different ranges of questions might be for those. So I don't have an answer to what question or what part of the exam is the most difficult because it's different for everybody. Some people get a subnet masking, they're done. They're off to the races, no problem whatsoever. But they get kind of in the weeds when it comes to understanding the security side of it or the routing tables or understanding the different fiber connectors. You know, that's it's so common though to see that. If you've not worked at all with fiber connectors and you see ST and SC and these different fiber connections, you have to remember what they are. If you've never used them before. It's really just rote memorization. But if you're somebody that's been doing networking for a while, you're just now interested in getting your certification, you've already plugged in fiber connections, you've already had to order fiber connections for your network, you know exactly what those connectors are. You might not even watch my video on it. Yeah, I know that. Let's go to the next thing. Ooh, I have to know how to look at routing tables? Ooh, I haven't done very much of that. So now you have to study that part. So it's different for everybody. But my, my, primary, my primary suggestion for everybody doing the exam, if you're trying to figure out what's going to be the hardest part, is download the objectives. You'll be able to print it out and go through that list and underline and circle the things that you feel are the ones that are going to cause you a problem. And that'll be your first step to knowing where you should focus your studying efforts. Cross through the things you already know, circle the things you don't. And that way you've got your study list already built out for you. Now you can focus on studying the things that are really going to cause you the most problems on the exam.